All right, do a loadout right now on what my Hill People Gear Connor V2 has in it. Now, I've only had this pack probably two or three weeks, so I don't have a lot of trail time on it yet. But I can say so far the pack out is pretty similar to what my Terra Humara is if you've seen that video. If not, I will link it up here in the corner and down in the description below. But so essentially the same thing. I just want it to go to the corner for a little bit more space. So I had some extra room for additional layers or if I wanted to pack in some gear for reviews or a simple overnight that way i can put a tarp and some shelter on there the terra it was pretty well packed with everything in it that it was going to have there was not much extra room so just wanted to look something a little bit bigger but not so big as what my vanquest ibex 35 is which is awfully big and bulky for just an overnighter and as a day pack this pack is so far proven that i can use it as a day pack and an overnight setup so let's go ahead and jump into it i may make some changes um, as time goes on and I use it some more but right now this is just how I've got it set up so as you saw there there are two I'll put these back on here there are two compression straps right on the front and underneath of those I keep my tough possum gear sit pad one of the reasons I also wanted to go to this pack this did not ride too awfully well on the Terra on the Connor it is perfect so you've got the two wings here. They've got molly webbing on them. I don't have anything attached to that. I may put a small roll up dump pouch to pack people's trash out when you find it. That's an aggravating point that I have when out and about. So I'd like for some way to conveniently do that. Um, you've got your two water bottle pockets. I keep my Topps Brush Wolf over here along with a Hydro Pack Recon bottles. These are the three inch bottles. I like them for their size. There's a few caveats that are things I don't like about them. I'm going to do a separate video on that later. I keep my grill 30 ounce nesting cup and bottle. So that's in the wing pockets. You've got your two elastic pockets here, your mesh pockets. I keep it simple. I keep my spork because I use it a lot for different things. And then over here, I keep just a couple of liquid IV packs and a snack bar. I don't stuff a whole lot in there. I just like to keep that simple so far. Again, may change as time goes on, but that's what I've got for now. Open this pocket. Now this does come with two zipper pulls on it. I took this one off. I never used it. And I put a Phoenix EO2R keychain light on that pull just to have. So now you've got your exterior pocket. I've got my Phoenix. This is the 20R, correct? Yep, the 20R V2. I've got a the 71R headlamp, an Anchor 10,000 milliamp battery, Sunto MC2 compass. I've got the lid to my nesting cup, spare batteries for my lights work sharp got a field sharpener some band-aids water purifying tabs and a meal bank strainer bag i've got my grate for my pocket stove and then i've just got some wipes and then we'll pack all that back up and go to the inside pocket now we'll go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of the pack now, let's see, probably this is the best option for the camera view. So it does unzip down the front and fold open. Now, this is what I was talking about, wanting to have extra room. Um, I don't always carry that much coffee. It's just for this weekend. But I've got room for a, this is the Ozark Trail pocket stove. And a, let's see, this is the 100 gram the four ounce MSR fuel. Did not have room in my Terra setup for that. Bug spray steel. Tough Possum six by eight pouch with my granola bars and snacks, additional drink mixes. I keep this in there all the time. My fire kit that's still got my Dragon Fire pocket stove as well as some additional fuel tabs fire starters in there i've got a 
cordage and tape pack. This is one of the VanQuest. I think this is the small expandable sticky cube. We've got a sewing kit, tape, and some cordage in there. My Baco folding saw. VanQuest medium sticky cube that's got my medical kit in it. And then currently I've got a Swartz pancake mix in there. So that's the main compartment in the zipper compartment on the lid. I've got an extra pair of gloves, toothbrush and paste, and then I keep a thermal top, a pair of thermal pants, a handkerchief, and then I've got a pair of socks and another pair of boxers. So the thermals will probably be coming out of there fairly soon, but it's currently the first weekend of April here in Kentucky, and Kentucky still has not made up its mind what it's doing weather-wise. So these thermals will stay in here probably till May, and then I'll probably swap them out or just take them out in general to have a little bit more room for other stuff. Stick all this back in here. I really hope the audio is working out and you can hear over those geese. It's going to be pretty disappointing if I've done all of this and you can't hear anything. So with this all packed back in here, It looks full right now, I'm sure, from this angle, but it really isn't because once I flip this up, oh, I got this stretch bag. Usually I pack this up like a top loader. It's kind of why I like these clamshells. You can either use it as a top load or as a full clamshell. But once I pack this stuff down in here and zip it up some, I've still got a fair amount of room to pack additional stuff in there. Plus, the clothes and the thermals are compressed down. So there's enough room for additional food in there if I need be. I put a Luma Luma mod. I'll put a picture in there. Glow in the dark zipper pull on there so I know which zipper pull so I'm not grabbing both of them at night. But the nice thing with the corner over the tear as well, I can easily fit dual water bottles in there with room so you do get a you do get a noticeable improvement over of storage space wise over the Terra TPG setup I was kind of worried about that I didn't know how much room I would gain I did gain a noticeable amount of room but the overall footprint did not get much bigger um, on the harness just like on the Terra I keep a Phoenix EO2R and then down here in the frame sheet up underneath I did fold up and put some trash bags in there some leaf bags so I've just got some trash bags if I need to this pack is a belt capable pack I don't have a belt for it yet but I will be getting one um, just to help stabilize it I'd say I haven't weighed it I'd say this pack is around 20 pounds right now somewhere around there give or take a few pounds but it carries really well it is comfortable at that weight but I just prefer to have a belt so I will be ordered a belt to put on there and I'll do a follow-up video when I get it. Um, on the bottom, you do have some compression straps here. Usually I have my this Carhartt jacket rolled up on there um, and or my bibs. I can fit both the bibs and the jacket on there if I need to, a poncho, shelter, whatever. There is plenty of room. I like the Exum. It just gives a little bit more stability and takes up some of the slack. Um, but yeah, that's, the, that's my loadout right now as of Two or three weeks into owning this hill people 
Connor V2. I guess I'm probably going on three weeks with it now. Um, probably have six or seven miles in with it, so not a lot of time, but right now I'd say this will be how it stays. Like I said, I'll do a follow-up on it when I get a belt and compare it to some other packs, but just wanted to get something out there because the Connor doesn't get a lot of attention, so thought I would do one. Y'all have a good one. Keep your lights charged and your knife sharp. Thanks, guys.